Hello everyone and welcome to the second video. Oh hey, I'm look at these things back here. There's like three, four, five. We're gonna have to get these back to him. He's gonna need them. Sorry about that. Um, I'm Jeff Sankpil from Keycode Media, and we're here to talk about the single most exciting thing in the world, storage technology. Yeah, it's, um, I'll be talking excitingly. I'll be waving my hands to you know, you know, emphasize storage of stream counts. It's spindles for speed. It's throughput. It's numbers. It's math. So yeah, really exciting stuff. Well, what really is exciting is getting you to a place where you can say the most wonderful phrase possible when it comes to helping your post-production future. Yes, we can take on 4K, UHD, 8K, HDR projects, no problem. I've been in the chair where someone walks in and says something like, hey, we've got an opportunity and it's something we haven't done before, it's in UHD, can we do it? That first time you look at the free disk space and say, well, well I, I guess so, we have enough space, why not? Then less than a week later, you've got a colorist walking in, not happy. Hey, I just sent the client EP home, she's pissed. Nothing in there that works right, so let me know when you get it figured out. I can't work like this. Hashtag angry colorist. Soon to add in hashtag angry producer, then you move on to hashtag angry operations. Hashtag angry sales rep. It's just really hashtag dumpster fire. You get the angry picture. Nobody is having fun. So then the next time somebody comes in and says 4K or UHD, you just start with no. I mean, nobody likes everyone peeved at them, but then again, everyone's still peeved at you anyway. You've got a problem, my friend. The who is you. The what is UHD and 4K and bigger being a problem for you, or it's a problem when you try to scale up the amount of work. The when is now. It's in your face, most likely. The where is in your house. Okay. Back in the dark ages, when computers had awesome startup chimes, you could do this science experiment. You load up a machine with as much RAM as possible and set up what was called a RAM disk. Then you load it on the essentials, OS, editing application, and what you had was night and freaking day. And it was great. And then you went home. And when you shut off the machine, poof. Now, drawing on my years of engineering experience, poof isn't good. It's volatile. It means there isn't there tomorrow. All the goodness is gone. So let's get back to the present. Things have come a long way. The awesome yet volatile has been replaced with non-volatile Memory Express, or NVMe. Now, non-volatile, that sounds good. Express, that sounds good. It all sounds fast, which it is. So NVMe is a new way of doing storage. It's a protocol to talk to big flash storage. But we all also know that we don't have the space in that colorist's computer to put these things in. And we need everyone else working in your facility in UHD to be able to see it too. So our partners at Quantum will be telling you the how in a few moments as you want this really fast way of talking to really fast storage to be able to talk to everyone. Maybe some of those hashtags I mentioned can stop dogging you. A bit about our friends at Quantum. They are leading experts in scale-out tiered storage, archive, and data protection. As I hope some of you already know, Keycode Media is the number one elite nationwide reseller of quantum, and we provide best-in-class innovative solutions, connecting and supporting the Quantum Storenext platform to the variety of post-production tools that you use every day. Eric Bassier, Quantum Senior Director of Products, will be diving deep into all things NVMe in his keynote presentation today. Quantum and VME, what it means for media productions. Before I hand it off, I'd like to encourage our audience to ask questions on Twitter using the hashtag quantum and VME, or comment on the live Facebook or YouTube feeds. So enough out of me, let's get to the real deal here. Take it away, Eric. Thanks a lot, and thank you for our friends at uh, Keycode Media. This is a great opportunity to talk about a new technology that we're bringing to market that I think can really help 
a lot of our customers uh, in the media profession. And what we're going to talk about is NVMe. Uh, NVMe is a new technology. It's actually a new protocol for flash storage, and it's really fast. We're going to talk about some more aspects of the technology as we get into it. Uh, NVMe stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express, and like I said, it's a new protocol. It's not necessarily a new type of storage. Um, as a protocol, it was designed for flash, and that becomes really important. A lot of the flash storage and flash arrays that are out there historically, they used other older interfaces that were designed for hard drives. You might have heard of this, like SAS or SATA. Okay, so NVMe was developed, it was invented in 2009, and it was designed for flash. So it takes advantage of all of the parallelism that's inherent in flash or solid state uh, devices, okay? Then you might hear about some other related technologies. Uh, NVMe OF is uh, NVMe over fabric. And so it basically provides the same benefits of NVMe just over a network, okay? And so when you think about what this means for our customers and for media professionals, this is about providing uh, much faster storage. It's about enabling our customers to do things like editing and coloring a lot more quickly. And it also enables them to do that at really high uh, resolution rates, so 4K, 8K HD, and really high frame rates. The customers that we have that have expressed early interest in this technology are those that are working in really high definition video and at very high frame rates. And typically, they're with teams where they have a lot of people working on content at the same time. So in the market now, you're starting to see NVMe technology come to market. And we're seeing early adoption in media and entertainment, uh, in broadcast, and in post. So this webinar is just a perfect opportunity to kind of get the word out to, to the customers using it. Um, I also want to talk about some other related technologies that are coming to market around NVMe. These are some other terms that you, know, you might hear. Um, one of them is called RDMA, and this is another network protocol. It stands for Remote Direct Memory Access. And between NVMe and RDMA, they have a couple things that are uh, in common. And the, the main thing is that they're both designed to uh, enable direct client to storage communication. Um, and so because of that, the technologies cut out a lot of the bottlenecks that are there on the network and a lot of the bottlenecks that can be there inside a storage system, including CPU, um, you know, RAID cards, things like that, that can kind of act as a performance bottleneck. Both NVMe and RDMA really allow that direct communication between a client, let's say an editing workstation, and the really fast NVMe storage. So, okay, it's really fast. I get it, storage keeps getting faster and faster. One of the things that's really cool that these technologies are enabling is many of our customers have historically used fiber channel infrastructures because it was the only infrastructure that could get the speed and the latencies that they needed for their workflows. And with NVMe and RDMA, we can now get those same latencies, in fact, even faster performance on Ethernet networks. So, for those of you out there, and this is a little bit technical, but you know, if you're on a 16 gig fiber network, you're looking at upgrading, but you're trying to move to more of an IP based infrastructure or Ethernet, these are fundamental technologies that I think many people will adopt over the next few years to be able to give them that high performance that they've gotten from fiber at much lower cost and a much simpler infrastructure. All right, so that's a little bit about just the technology itself. NVMe, it's a new protocol. It's designed for flash. It takes advantage of all of the parallelism that's associated with flash and solid state. And these other technologies like RDMA just make it a lot faster and more efficient for a client to talk directly to the storage, okay? So what's this mean for media professionals and what are we doing about it? What products are we building? So I think the benefits to media professionals are pretty obvious, right? Everybody's working in higher resolution. Uh, more and more of our clients are working in really high frame rate content. And of course, there's always a need if we can speed up production deadlines, if we can enable collaboration faster and make the workflow more efficient, there's a real benefit to that. The second benefit is, like I said, you can get rid of expensive fiber channel infrastructures and you can move to Ethernet infrastructure, which is gonna reduce costs while you still get all that performance benefit. 
Okay, so let's talk about just the product itself and um, a little bit more of the product architecture. So as I mentioned, um, our, our F-Series product comes in a 2U server. Uh, it's designed to plug directly into the Stornex file system environment. And it's available in capacity points at 46 terabyte, 92 terabyte, or 184 terabyte. All of that comes in a 2U form factor. We will offer both fiber channel and 100 gig, um, 100 gig E interfaces. So you've got that option, and um, just like with Stornext, whether you're on a fiber SAN or whether you're on an Ethernet um, uh, infrastructure, you got a whole lot of different interfaces you can use to kind of connect into this thing and uh, you know access the shared storage. Um, our, our new F-Series product is powered by what we call our Santa Cruz software-defined storage platform, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more, but that's really the secret sauce that makes this thing run. Um, what users can expect in terms of performance is probably at least you know 25 gig a second write, 25 gig a second read, and that may not you know mean a lot to a lot of the folks out there. Putting that in context, though, it's probably about five times faster than any flash storage you're using today. The other thing that's important about our architecture is we're going to enable people to move workloads between NVMe and disk with Stornex. And this becomes very important because NVMe is, it is expensive uh, as a storage. It's more expensive than um, you know, hard drive storage or traditional legacy flash. But what we're starting to see with initial customer deployments is they can deploy a small amount of NVMe for those workstations that need it for, the, you know, so those, for those critical parts of their workflow. And then when that content is not actively being worked on, you know, we can actually tear that off to nearline storage or even a digital media archive, all managed by our Stornex file system. So that's a little bit about NVMe and what we think it means for media production. Um, I hope you found it um, interesting, and we're going to stick around and answer some questions about it. And again, Quantum's new F-Series product, it's designed to plug into our Stornex environment. That's available for early field trials now, and then we're going to be announcing this in advance of uh, the NAB show a little bit later this year. Um, thank you very much to our friends at Keycode, and uh, let's turn it back to you guys to uh, have some questions. Thank you. Thanks, Eric, for putting together that fantastic presentation. Before we get into the Q&A, I want to remind everyone that an on-demand version of this presentation will be sent to you tomorrow morning. If you'd like to schedule a follow-up meeting to discuss how NVMe will fit into your production, please do not hesitate to contact us through the Keycode Media website.